Do you want to unlock the bootloader on your OnePlus 60? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can unlock the bootloader on your OnePlus 60. This process will work with both the version which you get directly from OnePlus and it will also work with the T-Mobile variant of OnePlus 60. Do note this process will factory reset your device so make sure you backed up your data pictures and anything important. What are the things which we need? You need latest ADB and Fastboot. You need to make sure that you have installed the drivers for your OnePlus 60 on your Windows machine. Mac and Linux users do not need to install any drivers. ADB and Fastboot and OnePlus 60 drivers for Windows are linked in the description of the video. Now, if you own the T-Mobile variant of the OnePlus 60, you also need to get the unlock underscore token dot bin file for your device. To do that, you need to go to this website, which is linked in the description of this video, enter your IMEI, your email address, and your unlock code. So to get this unlock code, you need to boot your OnePlus 60 into fastboot mode and then you need to enter this command fastboot oem get underscore unlock underscore code and you will get a code. You need to remove everything above and below and only paste the section which is highlighted in red in this unlock code field. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on I acknowledge and then go ahead and click on submit over here. Within seven days, OnePlus will send you the unlock underscore token bin file for your OnePlus 60. Again, this unlock underscore token bin file is applicable only for the T-Mobile variant. Next thing which we're going to do is we'll go ahead and place ADB and fastboot zip file and this unlock underscore token bin file in one folder. We'll go ahead and extract the ADB and fastboot zip file. Once we have extracted ADB and fastboot, we will go ahead and move the unlock underscore token bin file to the extracted folder. Now you have ADB and you have fastboot and you have unlock underscore token bin file in the same folder. All right, YouTube, moving on to the phone. First thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and go into settings and then we'll scroll down over here, go into security and lock screen. And I suggest you go ahead and remove your fingerprint, face unlock and your screen lock if you've set any of those. Once you have removed your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock, go ahead, go back over here and then we'll go ahead and go into accounts. And I also suggest you remove your OnePlus account and your Google account if you've set them up. Once that is done, go back to the main menu of settings, go into about phone over here, search for bill number, and we'll go ahead and tap on this guy seven times. We'll get a message, you are now a developer. Now we will go ahead and go back, go into system over here, and we'll have a new option called developer options. Once we are in developer options, we have to enable OEM unlocking if it is not already enabled. And you also need to go ahead and enable USB debugging. Go ahead and click on OK over here. At this point, we'll go ahead and turn off our phone. Once we have turned off our OnePlus 60, we will go ahead and press and hold the volume up button, the volume down button, and the power button at the same time. Once you do that, your phone will boot into fast boot mode. And at this point, we will go ahead and connect our phone to the computer. Back on the computer, Mac and Linux users need to open terminal and windows users can open powershell or command prompt now windows users can go ahead and go into the folder where we had extracted adb and fastboot press down the shift key right click and in the context menu which opens go ahead and click on open command prompt here or open powershell here mac and linux users need to go ahead and navigate to that folder where we have adb and fastboot and the first command which we're going to execute is fastboot devices Mac, Linux, and PowerShell users need to enter dot slash before the command. Command prompt users can go ahead and ignore the dot slash. Once you've entered the command, go ahead and press enter. And there, as you can see, my device is being detected in fast boot mode. The next command which we're going to execute is only for those people who have the T-Mobile variant of the OnePlus 60. This is the command which is going to let us unlock the bootloader of a OnePlus 60 in the next step. So the command is fastboot flash cust hyphen unlock and the name of the 
unlock underscore token bin file which T-Mobile had sent us. Once that is done, go ahead and press enter and make sure you get the success message. The next command which you're going to execute is the command which will go ahead and unlock the bootloader of a OnePlus 60 and the command for that is fastboot OEM unlock. Once you've entered the command, go ahead and press enter. At this point, the phone will give us a warning that unlocking the bootloader will result in a factory reset and all those things. We'll go ahead and use the volume lockers to make sure that unlock the bootloader is highlighted and then we'll go ahead and press the power button over here to unlock the bootloader. At this point, you can go ahead and disconnect the USB cable from your OnePlus 6T and it will go ahead and do a factory reset on the OnePlus 6T. Because we did a factory reset, the first boot up will take some time and you have to be patient. That's it for this video, YouTube. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.